Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. If you're like me and watch TV on your Roku, the most annoying thing is when your TV is buffering. Now, there are a few ways you can avoid buffering, but today I'm going to show you one that has really worked for me. Before I show you the one that has worked for me, some of these might work for you. So one of the options is to hardwire your device straight to your router using an Ethernet cable. So if you have a smart TV, you can plug it into your router and that might fix your buffering issues. The second option will be to get your router closer to the device you're using. So if you have a smart TV, get your router a little bit closer so it has a better signal and that might also fix your buffering. All right, so this is what worked for me to reduce buffering. All I did was connect to the five gigahertz network of the router. Most newer routers are gonna have a five gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz. A five gigahertz works in a shorter range, but is faster, and a 2.4 gigahertz has a better range and is a little bit slower. So just connecting to the 5G or the five gigahertz portion of the router help improve with buffering. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below if this has worked for you. Now keep in mind that you have to be closer to your router. If you are farther away from your router, you are probably not gonna get that five gigahertz connection. Also, some routers you do have to enable the five gigahertz option. Um, so keep that in mind. And a lot of the older routers do not have a five gigahertz option. Now I have seen some extenders that have the five gigahertz option on them. So if your router does not reach your TV, say in the living room and your router's in the bedroom, then I have seen some routers that are five gigahertz that may work for you. I have not tried them out. So if anybody else has tried, tried out a five gigahertz uh, extender, let me know also in the comments below. I'm going to show you guys the speed of a 2.4 gigahertz connection. Sixty one point six. and 11 upload. And this one's gonna be a five gigahertz connection. So let's see the speed difference. 16. So 116 download. and 11.8 upload. So the five gigahertz connection will give you a faster speed versus the 2.4 gigahertz connection. Thanks for watching. If any of this has helped you out, please hit that like button.